everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists at the Salk Institute have developed a treatment that is capable of reversing the symptoms of type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes results when cells in the body develop a resistance to insulin, the hormone that causes cells to absorb glucose from the blood. Cells in an insulin-resistant body will not absorb glucose at normal levels. Meanwhile, the liver continues to release glucose into the blood, which leads to hyperglycemia. Type 2 diabetes is the most common form of diabetes, with an estimated 285 million diagnosed cases worldwide. The treatment developed by Salk scientists involves delivering the protein FGF1, a growth factor that aids the body in regulating blood glucose levels. Mice with type 2 diabetes symptoms were given a single injection of the FGF1 treatment and their blood glucose returned to a healthy level for two days. And that's not all. Mice who received the treatment long term showed a reversal of their insulin resistance. FGF1 treats not only the symptoms, but the cause as well. There's a lot of work still to be done, but the futures of nearly 300 million diabetes patients may have just gotten a little brighter. Next up, researchers at Temple University have succeeded in totally eliminating the HIV-1 virus from cultured human cells. One of the things that makes HIV such a pertinacious infection is its ability to integrate its viral DNA into the genome of its host. The virus can be controlled through antiretroviral therapy, but any interruption in that therapy can allow the latent virus to come roaring back into a full-blown infection. But now, thanks to the Temple researchers, HIV's days as a permanent resident in the cells of its victims may be numbered. The researchers have developed a two-part process for eliminating latent HIV from cells, the details of which have been published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The first part is a nuclease enzyme called Cas9, which cuts strands of DNA. The second part is a strand of RNA specifically engineered to guide Cas9 to the HIV genetic material. Cas9 snips out the HIV DNA. The cell's natural repair mechanisms take over to join the edited genome back together, and there you are. No more HIV. Needless to say, there's still a lot of work to be done. As encouraging as this treatment is, at this point it's not much more than a proven concept. Methods of delivering this treatment that will be practical for human patients, not merely cultured cells in a laboratory, need to be developed. Nonetheless, scientists have proven it can be done. HIV can be deleted from the hard drive of its host. Finally, a new material transforms water into steam using only sunlight. The new material was developed by scientists at MIT. It's a carbon foam topped with a layer of graphite flakes. The foam floats on water while the top graphite layer is heated by the sun. As the graphite layer grows hotter, the water is pulled into the foam from the bottom like a sponge. When it reaches the top, the hot graphite converts the water into steam. On a sunny day with a good supply of water, the material could conceivably generate steam continuously, automatically. And it's efficient. The MIT researchers who created it found the new material able to convert 85% of the light it absorbed into steam. It loses little heat, and it requires less intense sunlight to operate than other solar-based steam production processes. The details are published in the journal Nature Communications. A new treatment reverses type 2 diabetes, a gene editing technique eliminates HIV from infected cells, and a carbon sponge generates steam using only water and sunlight. That's the good news. What? You didn't think it was good news? No?